Cool. Uh, how's it going? Uh, my name's Hung, and I work for a company called WeMash. It's a new startup. Uh, we work in video. And my Twitter thing is right there. Uh, so I'm going to talk about Keystone. It's uh, kind of like a module. I picked this rock up at a beach, and I thought, it's not their logo, by the way. I figured it's a nice little rock with a hole, and it's like kind of like Keystone-ish. So I put it right there. <laughs> that's, that's for you guys. Uh, if you want to use this photo, you have to license it through me. Uh, OK, so what's Keystone, right? Um, it's an open source framework, really, uh, for making websites and API. It's built on top of Express and Mongoose. Uh, so you're probably already familiar with that. But it has like the CMS and a couple wrappers around it. Like It has a nice wrapper around Mongoose. What that does is it lets you define models. And um, as soon as you create the models, you automatically get forms and all that stuff that goes with it for you to log into the administrative side, which is done in React. Uh, so it's pretty nice admin. Uh, one of the better scaffolding type of uh, platform I've seen out there. Um, so, well, you know, why did we use it? It's just we were trying to get up a, a quick website while we're building our platform to kind of you know put a blog and all that stuff. And rather than using WordPress and then later on regretting it and you know folding in, and we were trying to be a Node.js shop or whatever. So I thought, let's go with Node. Then we found Ghost, and Ghost was beautiful with themes and everything. The issue is. Uh, its authoring system is in, uh, you know, uh, Markdown. So it was great for us, but then we handed it to the business business guys and the content guys. They can't do Markdown, so we have to use something a little bit better. Uh, so Keystone comes with a, you know, it, I think it's integrated with Tiny. Uh, forgot what that plugin is, but it's a it's kind of a nice editor that content people can use. So. Uh, let's see what else. So it has you know all these things for routes, models, and all that really quickly for you to build things. And it's made by these guys called ThinkMill in Australia. Uh, so thanks to the guys in down under. Uh, options. Uh, it's kind of cool too. Like I, I, it's uh, it doesn't kind of force you to use its own thing. So it's you can pick your uh, template language or. CSS processor or preprocessor, as well as task, whatever thing that uh, stuff is. And uh, then it comes with a pre build blog, uh, image gallery, and contact form. So, uh, and then it integrates with Mandro Mailer, so you can actually do mail notifications. So it's all built, and you can take it out and put whatever you want in it or disable it. So it's completely, completely configurable. Uh, and an image processing thing that does thumbnails and all that just by describing what size you want and it puts it onto S3 and it's not sitting on your web server. So, uh, you know, the idea is just plug it in, build your website, have something functional, and then get the business people off your backs while you build the real thing. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, let's who's using it, right? Uh, these are the people that are using it. Obviously, we are. And it sounds like more people are interested uh, here in LA, so it'd be cool to have a small community around Keystone and see what, what we can do more with this. Uh, we're actually interested here in trying to take this thing and then putting Angular in front of it for the consumer side and then keeping the admin the way it is for managing the objects in the background. So that's where we're probably going with it. Um, let's see, what else? Community, you could probably get this after I send the thing. It's you know, where you find out more about this as well as uh, get involved and quick a demo. Okay, so let's make a website or something here. Uh, it comes with the way you install it is the Yeoman installer, so it's Keystone generator and it has a generator, so you do something like Yeoman uh, Keystone and it walks you through some option stuff that you want. You want a name for it, so let's call it the JSLA homepage. Um, we use Jade. Sorry, let me resize the window here. Ooh, this window is so small. Ah, there we go. Okay. So as you can see, you can pick whatever you want. SAS versus less. Don't fight over it. Image. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like I pick one of these. I talk to someone. They're like, "Oh, have you used less?" And I was like, "No." And it's like, and I pick Grunt and like, "Hey, what do you think of Gulp? We use Gulp. It's so much better." For I was like, "You ever have that discussion? <laughs> it's hilarious." So we'll just pick some default here and don't judge my choices. 
And I just, I just en hit enter. They come with the demo key. So if you guys all install your Keystone site and you upload images, it goes and just use the demo key. It goes to one account. And those guys that think they're watching what you post, so be careful. Uh, but you can create your own key, substitute it, and then you own the account. It's free up to XYZ, and then you start paying whatever charges they want you to pay. Um, yeah, go, I think it's kicking off uh, NPM install or something like that to get all the fancy stuff in there, all the, all the dependencies. So it might take like another five minutes. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> I might have another thing running, so I'll kill it just in case. And then uh, come back here. Sure. Oh, the the demo account when you when you uh, install it, they have a demo key for Cloudinary, uh, so it's I think it's free up to a certain point. But when you use your own account, you get like, I don't know, some, some default free stuff that Cloudinary gives you. But if you use more, I forgot what it is, the number of images or whatever it is, then you pay some sort of fee. So you don't pay S3 directly because they manage that. Yeah, but they use S3 as the back end for that. So, OK, let's uh, hope that NPM install thing worked. And it didn't. Uh, fuck, do I really have to do that? Oh, sorry. <coughs> Oh, that's right. Thanks, guys. Uh, JSLA. And so that's all you do to start it. It runs default on port 3000. And I switch. Let's shrink that so you can see. So that's the default home page. You can replace this with your own site, obviously. Uh, then you can check out the admin here. And that's, this is the admin side of things. You can check the you know, gallery. They call it inquiries. I think that's an Australian way of saying uh, questions. <laughs> so, so yeah, you know, you have all this stuff here, right? It's fancy. Um, I always avoid the gallery demo, like posting an image, because I never know what's on my computer. <laughs> and boom. And so you get, you know, right there, you put in draft, pick my the user. That's weird that it doesn't default me, but. We're, we're fixing that on our app. Uh, we upload an image. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll take a chance. Let's stop. Let's, what is that? Oh, that's my Tofi. <laughs> you, you see, you see. Yeah, I'll put that image. That's fine, right? Save it. I'll open it up uh, another tab and see what that is. Go to blog. So I just posted a blog. Oop, my bad. Did not publish it. Thank goodness. Uh, publish. Save. And refresh. And there you go. And then you can change these templates all you like. So I'll show you what kind of the finished work looks like, uh, or almost finished. At WeMash, we're doing this as our placeholder website. Uh, yeah, you know, kind of. I think this is. Oh, is that mobile responsive thing? We've we've been crunched, so my navigation got messed up. But anyways, go to the blog. So we have actually two Keystone sites: the homepage and the blog. Uh, and then we're using like some proxy to make them look like this one site. But so this is what we, what we did with it. It's too bad that the screen. Ah, look at that. OK, that's what it really looks like when you're on a desktop. So you know, you can do a little bit more than just that default thing. And then you can watch a nice Thug Life video that we're making. All right, that's enough. Top secret. All right, uh, I'm done. I'm done.